Hi guys, this is not a Transformers review. This is a digital padlock which operates electronically. Uh, it is my invention for my final year project. Um, it has been accepted by, for a conference by IEEE. Um, so basically it is a padlock that operates electronically. You insert password and the padlock will unlock itself. Um, as you can see the padlock, the keypad is placed at the back. The reason is because uh, when the user is entering the password, the people who is behind the user will not be able to see the password. That and because I've run out of space to place it anywhere in the front. So let's look at it. Uh, I've placed a mirror here so that you can see what uh, um, number I'm pressing. Uh, at least I uh, have an idea of what number I'm pressing. Um, so I'm switching it on. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see this in the camera, in the video. Um, it says enter command. So uh, now the padlock is locked. Hmm. Um, to unlock the padlock, I will press number one. And it will be asking for password. Uh, as you can see here, the display is asking to enter key. So uh, I will enter the password. The password is all one for now. And it will show a confirmation. Here, after you have entered the password successfully, the padlock is now unlocked. And you can lock it again. Just put it in and press number 2 to lock it and now it would have been locked as such so uh, this is these are the basic features to lock and unlock you can change the password mm, to change the password you have to press number 4 uh, it will ask for a master key master key is a 10 digit password uh, the master key is set as all one. Of course, you can change the master key as well. Um, one more. Okay, uh, let's choose the new password as all zero. Alright, uh, I'm going to show you here how to unlock the pad padlock with the new password. Now, let's try to enter the old password first. Uh, the old password is all one, right? As you can see, you won't be uh, you won't be grant granted the access. Um, the reason is because the password has been changed. So now, uh, uh, as I have uh, tried to enter the wrong password three times in a row, the artificial intelligence system in the padlock would have uh, stepped up the security. Now it won't ask for a five-digit password anymore. It will be asking for. A 10 digit password which is the master key um, as you can um, as you can see it takes like roughly three seconds to enter a password so in order to try out all the possible combination there are 10 digits in the master key it will take like 30 giga second which is about like 951 years um, so before I enter the uh, master key let me show you another feature here when you press number three it will show you the number of failed attempts Meaning to say that uh, if I am the original user, um, I can check if there has been any attempt to unlock the padlock. Just press number 3 and it will show you the number of failed attempts. Um, so let me try to enter the uh, master password now. Before I enter the master password, let's um, change the master password as well. To change the master password, you have to press 5 and you'll be asked for the current master password which is all one and you enter the new password let's set it as all two uh, it will ask for a confirmation so the master password has been changed so now that when you been asked for the um, Key, uh, let's try to enter the wrong password again. 
Whenever you enter the correct master password, it does not matter where, the number of failed attempts will be reset to zero. So, um, okay, so there has been three malicious attempts. So now when you try to unlock the pass, uh, padlock, it will be asking for the master password. Let's try to enter the old master password, which is all one. Error. Okay, let's now try to enter the new master password, which is all two. It will be now unlocked. Let's lock it again. Okay, um... Let's try to enter the normal password, which is all zero. So it can now be unlocked. I have successfully demonstrated how to uh, change the, to pers personalize the password and master password. Um, of course, I'm going to keep this video in case anything goes wrong during my presentation, so I can just play it back then. Uh, of course, I'm going to upload to my blog as well. Um, so what else? Oh yeah, the battery level. Uh, the battery is rechargeable. There's this port outside. Uh, during operational mode, as you can see, there's a switch here. There's a switch here. During operational mode, um, the the external port here uh, is basically useless. You can try to shot it, spray it with water. Nothing will happen. Um, when you switch off the padlock, when it is not in its operational mode, it is in its charging mode. Now you can um, charge the battery here, just connect it to the charger and the battery will be charged. To know the uh, uh, remaining level of the battery voltage, just press number 6. So the battery is full. When you see a 5 bar voltage, the battery is full. Um, also, you can switch off the LCD because, uh, like, if you already exp um, play around with the padlock, you might want to save the LCD power. Uh, so you can switch off the LCD, but the padlock will still be operational. Let me show it to you. Uh, it is locked, so uh, I am blinded. But uh, since I've played around with it, so I, I I should know what I'm supposed to do now. To pr uh, to unlock the padlock, I should press one. Okay, and to enter the password, which is all zero now, let's enter the password. One, two, three, four, five. It has been unlocked. To lock it again, press two. It has been locked. So, uh, to switch on the LCD again, just press number eight. Sorry. Eight, right. So... That's about it. Um, yeah, that's about it. As you can see here, the the uh, keypad it has been strategically placed and positioned at the back in such a way that when a right-handed user uh, is holding the padlock, the index finger will be placed on key number one. As such, so it would be easy to navigate around without looking at the padlock. Also, uh, this padlock has other features. It is a uh, knock resistance. You can drop it uh, and still be operational. It is water resistance. Water resistance, not waterproof. Uh, it will be operational if you can put uh, if you put it outdoor, and if it rains, it will still be operational. It will be operational in a cold weather. It has all been tested. Um, it can. Um, it can. The body of the padlock can. Um, take uh, at least 100 newton force um, without being damaged um, the shackle is uh, made of a uh, brass metal so uh, it has corroded, uh, corroded a little after uh, salt chamber test the body of the lock has been made by from um, stainless steel metal so it is a uh, more reliable compared to the shackle here so that's about it see you around